Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. I'm super excited that you showed up at the channel today. In QuickBooks Point of Sale today, we are going to show you how a customer can make a return and you would count it as in-store credit. Depending on your um, return policy, this is, might be what you're extending to your customers. Maybe you don't want to hand them cash back. Maybe you want to keep that money in your store. And so maybe possibly your return policy says in-store credit only. That's right, in-store credit only. Before we jump into how to do this, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below so you can get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there. I am excited to see you because you can ask questions about errors or workflows or request a video for this channel if you like. Other people such as myself or retail business owners who are in point of sale will be answering your questions totally free. All right, if you're on YouTube, hit subscribe and get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. So in my sales history, I'm going to process a return for these wonderful super pants that I have right here. And these actually do not have a customer attached to them and that is fine. Uh, they're walking in and they're, they're gonna make a return now. But uh, the customer portion of this is very important. Now, if they just have their receipt, you can easily scan it. You can watch one of our other videos on how to scan a receipt and do a return. But I found it in my history here, as you can as well. And I'm gonna hit accept return. Because I know that they were in earlier today and now they just decided these super pants don't fit maybe or something like that. I'm going to choose my return quantity and hit add selected items. You can now see that the super pants are in the negative for negative $11.99. Actually, I had a discount <clears throat> on this receipt. So they're going to be receiving $9.59 back in in-store credit. And that is where this button comes into play, the account button. Now, if I hit this account button right now, it is going to tell me that I have no customer on this receipt. And since I had no customer on the original receipt, I need to add a customer. If you're doing a return and there's already a customer attached, you shouldn't have to do anything. They should already be listed up here at the top. But in this case, we got Billy Bob Jansen and ooh. He's already got some balance and some credit going on. That's fine. He's making a return. We're going to give him some in-store credit. You know what? I want to make this simpler to see, though. So I'm going to try and choose somebody who doesn't have a lot going on with in-store credit. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Here we go. We got John Doe. And he doesn't have anything going on yet with credit. So we're going to give him some in-store credit. And right when we click on this since it's a return and we're handing money out what we're actually going to say is make payment on account for the 959 i hit save and we have never used a credit account with john doe before so it's asking us if we want to turn on use with quickbooks this is a requirement so you're going to say yes and there you have it the amount due or amount owed is now zero if we want to double check on the account button here, we can see that we've made payment on account for $9.59. Actually, it's this line right here, payment on account $9.59. And so we are at zero. Now you can save and print and hand that to them and it'll show them their balance. I don't have a receipt printer, so I'm going to hit save only. And later on, if I'd like to, I can go on the customer list and look up John Doe here and I can see since it's in parentheses here on account balance, I can see that he has 959 available. Now, don't get this confused with available credit because available credit is just kind of the limit that it's set. And since, since we just push some money in there, it's just gonna list 959. But even if he spends this 959, it's still gonna say available credit 959, like a credit ca card. You know, it's, it's the credit that is allowed to him so only pay attention to account balance for 959 and in another video I will show you how to check out using the account or using his credit and there you have it we have taken a return we've given him in-store credit and now he can either use that today or use it in the future 
It will be tracked under his customer name on customer list. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this helped you out, go ahead and hit the like button down below. I love my likes. And if you have anything to say about it or questions, you can leave a comment. You have yourself a stupendous day now. Bye-bye.